set me on fire, try to set me on. Friend of a friend, it's 4 a.m. What are we doing in the street? Hi, welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. Today we're doing Slow Mover by Angie McMahon, which is a great song, probably not as popular as some of the other songs we've done, but it's a really, really nice song. Relatively simple. We're going to have to do a couple of bar chords, which I'm going to show you right now. So download your chart. Let's get started. A lot of it is in open chords, which is the E and the A, but we're tuned down a half step. So if you're playing along with the original song, she's tuned down to E flat, which basically means that all your strings are down one half step. So you've got E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. You don't have to do that, of course, but if you want to play along with the original song, that's the key that she's in. Whilst she's tuned down to E flat, she's playing open E, open A, then we've also got a C sharp minor, and an easier way of playing C sharp minor if you have a little bit of difficulty with your bar chords is to leave that top string open. With the C sharp minor it works really quite well and it makes that chord a bit easier to, to play. It's an A minor shape on your fourth fret. Then the B, you can play like that the traditional way. You can also do this kind of open bar chord shape by leaving these top two strings open for the B chord. So it just makes those two chords a little bit easier for, for those who are maybe not as comfortable with bar chords. The one other one that we need to get our fingers around is the G sharp minor, which comes towards the end of the song. And that's an E minor shape on your fourth fret. So with those chords now under our belt, let's get into it. The main thing that makes this song sound as great as it does I think is the rhythm that she uses in strumming and the awesome grungy guitar sound that, that she gets tuned to E flat probably has a lot to do with it as well. But on the first line of your chart, I've mapped out the kind of strumming pattern that she uses pretty much all the way through the song. And that's that. Now, if you slow it right down, you'll see what's happening there. The little X's are percussive kind of strums without your chord ringing out. So those first two are the bottom four strings, let's say, of the E chord, followed by the top two or three strings. You don't have to be super precise with this, but the bottom strings on the strum down, the top strings on the strum up. And the strum up needs to cut be cut quite short. The first strum down rings out for what is three sixteenth notes or a dotted quaver. The one coming up is just a sixteenth note, one sixteenth note or a semi quaver. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Then you've got two of those percussive strokes, sixteenth notes, and then you do one more downstroke and then you start that pattern again. does that all the way through the song. So take a little bit of time to get that strumming pattern down and, and it'll sound great throughout the song. As you do that, E, three, four, A, two, three. We stop on beat three. And I've noted that where, where she does this, she either stops on beat three or she just does one strum on beat one and holds it. And I've noted that where it happens on your chart. So just, Watch out for that when they come along. Stop on beat three and then back into the E for the next part. Friend, oh friend, it's 4 a.m. What are we doing in the street? Like that. Goes through that line three times and on the fourth time she does this. Bar, we hold the A on the first beat and go 
voice into the chorus. Maybe we'll get married. Then we go through that again, all over again. It's another verse, uh, but the end at the end of this verse, after we do that repeat section three times, the end of this verse is slightly different. The end of this verse goes two, three, four, C sharp minor. beat one going into another chorus. Maybe we'll get married, maybe fall in love. Could you help me fall asleep with your cold and Try to set me on fire, try to set me on fire. Beat three, off to E. Then we go into the bridge section which is that, friend I am a slow it pulls right back. Friend, I am a slow, slow girl. Then we go to a G sharp minor now. Back to the A. B. Leading us into the chorus. Maybe we'll get married. And it starts soft and builds up. Could you help me? Up to B. She me on fire. And the final three bars are C sharp minor. Try set me on fire. Try set me on. And ends on E. I'm not quite sure whether she says try setting me on fire or try set me on fire, but either way, it sounds cool. Great song. Angie McMahon. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you here next time. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like and the bells.